In this video, I'm going to share a totally new way to create dependent drop down in Google Sheet. Now, in this method, we don't need to create any helper sheet and any helper column on the same sheet. With this method, you can simply add the row or delete the row in between the other rows and dependent drop down will still work. We have only this drop down table on which we have first level, second level, third level dependent drop down, and we have only these two helper columns. I will share the formula for these two helper column and that's all. For example, if I simply go to data input and I simply select let's say Asia, it will show me all of the country related to Asia. Let's say I'm going to select Japan and it will show me city related to Japan. If I activate another row and I simply select the other option, let's say Europe, it will show me all of the country related to Europe based on our dependent drop down and now it will show me the city as well for example i'm going to change this to north america it will show me all of the country related to north america and it will show me related city as well in the last video people face a problem when they add or delete the row in between the other row the dependent drop down stop working but using this method you will never face those problem if i simply right click insert a row and I simply right click delete a row and I simply activate this one it will show me each and everything accurately and all of the other drop down will still work properly and for example I'm going to delete row number 9 row number 11 12 and each and everything will work properly So how we can create this dependent drop down I will show you each and everything in this video. Consider I have this raw data sheet the first thing I will insert column on the very left side of the sheet I will select the entire column right click insert column to lift. The next thing I will simply go to insert and I will select tick boxes. The next thing we need to decrease the width of this column a little bit more. And I think better I will remove the check box from the very first row. So I will select and hit delete key. Now if I select check box, you can see it's become true. And when I uncheck, it become false. The next thing I will insert a first level column on a continent. So I will select C1. Simply click shift control down arrow key. Control backspace key to move to the actor row again, which is C2. Click on data, data validation, add rule, click drop down from a range, click here, select data range, go to drop down table and in this case I will select A2, drag my mouse down and I will simply remove the last digit which is 10 and simply hit OK. I will scroll a little bit to the bottom side, click on advanced option a little bit more in this case i like the arrow format and make sure you select reject input simply hit done and now if i go to data input my first level dependent drop down is ready for example i'm going to check this one and this is my first level dependent drop down i need to apply conditional formatting just to highlight the currently actor row so that i can easily input my data set so for this I will select my entire sheet, simply go to format, conditional formatting, here I will select custom formula, click here and simply type equal dollar $A1 equal true and for the color I will choose light green color and simply hit done. Now if I uncheck this row and check any other row you can see it's automatically highlighting me the row and this is very useful for you when you are working with the sheet okay the next thing we need to create formula for second level dependent drop down so for now i will simply uncheck this one and check this one because this is our actor row i will go to drop down table click here and i will simply type a very easy function xlookup open parenthesis what is the search key in this case i want the search key to be true hit comma and what is the lookup range i will simply click on data input 
select the entire column a hit comma and what is the result range you want for now i will close hide formula suggestion and i will select the entire column c hit comma if i simply click on question mark for the missing value i will simply write double quotation mark which is a blank close parenthesis and simply hit enter now you can see we get europe if i simply go to data input again and uncheck this one and i check any other row and select let's say any other option now if i simply go to drop down table it will return me the currently check item okay the next thing we need to write a formula which will filter out all of the country related to selected continent so i will write a very simple formula equal filter open parenthesis what range you want to filter in this case i want to filter country hit comma based on which condition so i will select entire column a equal to and i will select e1 close parenthesis hit enter and it will return me all of the country now i will apply a very simple unique function so first type space lift arrow key and now simply type un select unique function and close parenthesis hit enter the next thing we need to show a few dot for example if i show you my original sheet and i simply select this option you can see we have options and we have a dotted option so how actually we can display these dotted option to separate my actual valid entry and invalid entry so for this i will develop a very very simple formula if i simply write equal repeat open parenthesis which text you want to repeat in this case i will simply type quotation mark dot quotation mark comma and for the number of repetition i will write a very simple function sequence simply select sequence how many rows in this case let's say i'm going to sit 50 row but you can adjust these number as well hit comma how many column one column what is the start of video one what is the step value one simply close parenthesis and close parenthesis for repeat function and hit enter now it's written only one result but if i simply click on formula and simply hit Control shift enter it will apply array formula and now simply hit enter it will give me 50 rows with the point and in each row the point are increasing till we have 50 points okay the next thing we need to simply cut this whole formula hit Control x and now i will remove equal sign hit enter i will simply click on first ecto formula and here i will write a very simple v stake function open parenthesis so this is our first range hit comma and this is our second range and for the third range i will simply copy this whole formula hit control c paste on the very end and here instead of equal i will simply type not equal to and i will close parenthesis for v stack function and simply hit enter now you can see we have valid option on the very top and we have invalid option on the very end now for example i go back to my data input sheet and instead of north america let's say i'm going to select asia and if i simply go to drop down table now you can see we have valid option on the very top and all of the invalid option on the very end of the sheet so this is very very useful i will simply go to data input and i will simply select d2 hit control shift down arrow key control backspace key to move to the actor row again and simply click on data data validation click add rule drop down from a range click here select data range go to drop down table in this case i will simply click on e2 drag my mouse down remove the last digit and simply hit ok scroll a little bit to the bottom side click advanced option scroll a little bit more select the arrow format and make sure reject input is selected
Now simply click done and if I simply go to data input, I can see my dependent drop down is working. If I activate another row and simply uncheck the first row and I select let's say North America, my dependent drop down show my valid country. The next thing we need to develop formula for the city. So the same formula, for example, in this case, I select Mexico. I will go to drop down table and instead of this XLOOKUP formula, which is actually look up the true value in column A and return the value from column C. But in this case, we will look up the value in column A and return the value from column D. So I will simply copy this whole XLOOKUP formula again, double click here, control V and instead of column C, we want result from column D. Simply hit enter and just ignore the suggestion. And now we need to develop the same formula for CT as well. I will simply write equal filter open parenthesis. We want to bring all of the matching CT when country equal to F1. Simply close parenthesis, hit enter. And for safety purpose, you can apply unique though dependent drop down automatically ignore duplicate but for easy and for shorter range we just need to apply unique function as well open parenthesis and simply hit enter the next thing we simply need to copy this array formula sequence and repeat each and everything hit ctrl c click here and first we need to write vstep function open parenthesis what is the range 1? This hall is our range 1, hit comma. Range 2 is this function, hit comma. And for the range 3, I will simply copy my unique filter. And on the very end, I will simply control V. And instead of equal this time, I will simply write net equal to. Close parenthesis for V stack and simply hit enter. The next thing I will go to data input, click on E2. Click Control Shift Down Arrow Key, Control Backspace Key. Click on Data Data Validation. Add another rule. Drop down from a range. Select Data Range. Go to Drop Down Table and click on F2. Drag the mouse down and simply remove the very last digit. Hit OK. Scroll a little bit to the bottom side. Click on Advanced Option. In this case, I like the arrow format. Simply hit Done. Go to data input sheet and if I simply click here Mexico, if I change North America to let's say Asia and I select let's say China, it will show me all of related city. So this is how we can create this dependent drop down. If I simply uncheck this row and check this row and now I can select let's say Africa, it will show me all of the country related to Africa based on our drop down list. And it will also show me the related city. Now the only limitation if I select multiple checkboxes, this method will work not properly. You must need select only one checkbox. So for this I have a very very simple script and I will give you the script as well. For example if I simply go to my text file and copy this whole script hit ctrl c. Go to my google sheet click on extension app script. And after a few seconds, this window will be appear. Simply hit OK and click on add file. In this case, script file. And for the name, let's say write tick box. Hit enter. Remove everything here. Hit Ctrl V to paste this whole script. Now in this script, the only thing you need to change, for example, you have developed a tick box other than column A. You just need to change this AA to any other column you have. Just save the script. Run for the first time. And now simply select any other checkbox. It will automatically uncheck the last checkbox. For example, I select the last checkbox. It will automatically uncheck the first one. And this is our safety. We don't need to worry about if we select multiple checkbox, it will automatically uncheck those one. Now I can easily select my drop down, country and city. 
if I select any other checkbox, I can easily select South America, Colombia, and it will show me related city. So this is how we can develop this dependent dropdown. Now in this video, I only show you how to create it on a one single sheet. In next video, I will show you how to extend this logic to multiple sheets. If you have any specific question or if you face a problem or if you have something else in mind, just write me comment. If you did not subscribe my channel, please subscribe it now.